Welcome to the online training for TexasHeiferValidation.com. First, enter the website information, and then you will select your county or chapter. For the purposes of this presentation, we're going to use the dummy test, county or chapter. After you find and select that, enter your access code, click login. At this point, it's important to go to your county and chapter contacts and be sure that all that information is up to date. Just keep in mind the email that's entered there is where all the communication goes through uh, regarding heifer projects or or registration papers with issues. So uh, go ahead and update that information and save it. This time you need to add new exhibitor. So select add new exhibitor. Enter exhibitor information is the next step. Just know that the email address is required. And that's where all the communication goes to the family regarding the status of their registration papers and the heifer project overall. And make sure you enter the exhibitor's name as it appears on the registration papers. You'll save that exhibitor. And then to add the new exhibitor, you click on the exhibitor profile and then click add new heifer for this exhibitor. You enter the information from the original scanned copy of the registration papers. Note that when you get to breed selection, ARB and ORB will not be options. The breeds are listed out specifically, so select the breed that corresponds with the registration papers. If the breed you're, you need to select is not listed, select the other breeds not listed option. In this case, she's a beef master. Again, it's important to take the information directly from the original papers. And once you've completed entering the information, you can click Save Heifer Project at the bottom. Next, expand the exhibitor, which in this case is Donna Henderson from the project list. And then you click on the heifer below. Her information will pop up. And now it's time to upload the registration paper. So depending on your browser, check, click Choose File or browse, depending on your browser, to locate your file. Select the file and click Upload. The system will tell you you successfully uploaded a set of papers. From this point, there are three separate paths. Path number one is submitting papers for early review. This requires no UIN number, but to do this, select the shows the heifer could potentially attend. This action does not enter in any livestock show. You scroll to the bottom page once the, you've done this and submit the papers for review. At this point, the heifer is not validated. You will still have to assign and enter a UIN at a later date. The registration papers must be uploaded and the UIN entered by November 14th of 2014. Path number two is related to uploading papers and submitting UIN at the same time. You are entering this information and uploading registration papers following physical validation and wish to submit Heifer Project. To accomplish this, papers must be uploaded and UIN number entered. The steps to get through this is you select the shows this Heifer could potentially attend. Again, this does not indicate that you're entering these shows just gives the, the selection committee, the ones validating the papers, the, an idea of where the animals are going. After that is accomplished, you can pull up the, the physical validation paperwork to put the information up against one another to be sure that the breed information, the registration information, the date of birth information, and also the breed identification information all matches up. If all those things match, you can then take the UIN that was assigned at physical validation and enter it into texasheifervalidation.com. And after it's been entered, 
you may click Submit Papers for Review. At this point, the heifer is not validated. Her registration papers will still have to be reviewed and validated. But you are finished barring any issues with the registration papers prior to the November 14th deadline. Path 3 is entering the UIN for a heifer with validated registration papers. This path is only possible when registration papers have been submitted for early review and papers were validated prior to the November 14, 2014 deadline. Step 10 would be to expand the exhibitor, in this case Donna Henderson, click on the heifer, Levi Z, and then pull up your valid physical validation information to check for breed information, the registration number, the date of birth, breed identification uh, information as well. Check those against what was entered uh, from the registration papers just to be sure that all those numbers and that information matches up. If you are satisfied that that information is correct, that's when you enter the UIN number from the validation form. And at that point, you scroll to the bottom of the page and you submit final heifer project. At this point, the heifer is validated and satisfies the ownership requirements for the spring 2015 major livestock show season.